Zainab Bangura, Director General, United Nations Office of Nairobi, Ms. Maimuna Sharif, Executive Director, UN Habitat, Ambassador Jean Kimani, Permanent Representative, Kenya Perm Permanent Mission to the UN Habitat, Mr. Jean Todd, UN Secretary General, Special Envoy for Road Safety, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Sports and the Arts, the Cycling Community, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. I love riding. And let me tell you, every time I ride, I go back to Kakamega, to a little girl who would ride down the dust roads with her friends sharing the few bicycles we had. We would use our bare feet as brakes, and it was well worth it. <laughs> Those for me remain some of my happiest memories. It doesn't matter how many times I fell, but the joy it gave me was undeniable. Whenever my mother sent me to the market, I would take my bicycle and dash with utmost speed. On my way back, I would pass by my grandmother's house and take some music on my way back without getting left, thanks to my bike. As a mother, it is amazing how the first gift every parent wants to give their child is a little tricycle. We are always very proud when we see them ride without any help. Indeed, cycling comes naturally to most of us, despite our age and gender. Today is a special day, as this is why, and this is why we kicked it off with a 10.8 kilometer cycle from State House to the United Nations office in Nairobi. Special recognition to you, Ambassador, Sang Junyo and your team from the Embassy of the Republic of Korea, for we are truly honored to have had you join the cyclists. Thank you so much, Balozi. As we rode here, apart from burning some calories, our endorphins kept our spirits high. How we wish this happiness would be without any stress factor on the roads. It would be incredible if there was clear respect between motorists and cyclists. This is why my office advocates for safe riding, that motorists respect cyclists and cyclists respect motorists. Too many cyclists have unfortunately lost their lives on our roads. We need to cultivate a culture where we care a lot more about each other. We come to the road for different reasons. For some, it is for leisure, and for others, it is their means to work, while others cycle to get their produce to the nearby markets. Thinking of, the, of what cyclists have to contend with while riding on our roads, we can only say a prayer of thanks every time we get home safely. Our commitment to share the road advocates for safe and respectful sharing of our road between motorized and non-motorized road users. Our aim is to raise awareness of the importance of cycling and its contribution towards achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. SDG 3, which advocates for good health and well-being, enhances personal health and offers numerous health benefits, including improving cardiovascular fitness and boosting mental health. SDG 11, on sustainable cities and communities is achievable through cycling as an efficient means of transportation that reduces traffic congestion in cities. And SDG 13, which focuses on climate action, aligns to the global climate goal, net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Together, we can build a society that values sustainable transportation, promotes social equality, and fosters a sense of togetherness. We are privileged to partner with the United Nations to launch the Global Alliance of Cities for Road Safety, a platform for capacity building, city exchanges, and technical advance on road safety. It's my hope that this launch will encourage more people to take up cycling, like our cabinet secretary, and make our roads safer for cyclists. Let us use our voice of influence to encourage our friends and families to join us. 
our impact will change the world for the better. With those few remarks, I officially launched the Global Alliance of Cities for Road Safety. Thank you very much for your kind attention. May the Lord bless you. Thank you.